So why do things float in space? You might think it's because there's zero gravity in space. You hear terms like zero G. Would it surprise you to know that in space there is lots of gravity? In fact, the astronauts on the International Space Station experience 90% of the same amount of gravity that you feel standing on the surface of Earth right now. All right, so what's the deal then? Why do things float in space, but they don't float here on Earth? To figure it out, we're gonna talk about this, this, and this. Let's go. Gravity isn't just some magical downforce. It's an attraction between any two objects with mass. So basically think of anything that's made up of atoms like you, me, your phone, and of course, this entire planet that we're standing on is made of a lot of atoms, a lot of mass. And gravity is simply the attraction between those objects, objects with mass. So yeah, on Earth, gravity is pulling you down, but you're also technically pulling the Earth up toward you, just a tiny imperceptible amount. But the fact that the Earth is pulling you down and because there's solid ground beneath you, the ground is pushing back up at you, that is what we perceive as weight. I think to understand this, we need to go to a theme park. This is Dollywood. It is a theme park near my home. It's super fun to go to, and they have this ride called Drop Line, and it's a drop tower ride. If you've ridden one of these drop tower rides before, you know that when it takes you to the top and drops you, your arms and your legs suddenly go up in free fall. And for a moment, it feels like there's zero gravity, but you're still on earth. There still is the force of gravity on you. Why does it feel differently than just standing on the ground? When you're on a ride like this, you are in free fall, but so is the ride itself. The seat that you're sitting in is also in free fall. There's nothing pushing up against you. And that's the difference. Being in space is kind of like free falling all the time because there's nothing pushing up against you. You are still being pulled by gravity. It's just that there's nothing pushing up against you. You're moving so fast around the earth, you never actually touch ground. That's orbit. The space station is moving at 28,000 kilometers an hour. It keeps falling, but it never hits the ground. So why do things float in space? Because it's all falling together. The astronauts, the space station, the food inside the space station, it's all in free fall together. Nothing is pushing back. In space, the technical term for this is microgravity, but you'll also sometimes hear it called zero G. That's not because there's literally zero gravity. It just means that the effect on your body is as though there is no gravity. NASA even has special planes that they use to train astronauts that create the sensation of zero G. They fly in these huge arcs, and during this free fall, you can experience 20 to 30 seconds of weightlessness. It's pretty cool. OK Go even did a music video in one of these airplanes a few years ago. This is not CGI. This is them just free falling in the plane to simulate that experience of zero gravity. So now you know, things float in space, not because there's no gravity, but because they're falling with style. So if this video blew your mind, go check out this video where I showed how high you could jump based on which planet you're on. As we know, the amount of gravity you experience is dependent on the mass of the object. So a large planet like Jupiter would have a lot of gravity and a very small planet like Pluto has a tiny amount of gravity. So this video is a cool visualization to show how high your vertical jump would be based on the amount of gravity you experience. Go check it out.